Okay, I'm finally getting around to organizing the Sunday book haul, and I have to go back and do another Sunday book haul, which is huge, as you can see, tomorrow. So I'm just going to be flooded with books, but that's part of what I was busy with this week, uh, for the most part, is creating room for more books. It took a lot of work and a lot of organizing, but I'm almost there. I'm going to finally get around to these. These aren't organized, so we're just going to kind of go through random books. That'll save me a little time to also show the books that I got from Thursday. Just a few. And let me start with what I found six days ago on Sunday inside the store. This was the only book that I got. I just happened to notice it as I was by the register for a great price of $3.99, volume five of the Complete Elf Quest. Brand new, too, apparently. And yeah, what a heck of a deal. I've actually got volumes one through three, so I needed this one for my own personal collection. It's a really cool comic from the 80s, as you can see. Really great art, too. Pretty cool stories. And yeah, these are actually worth a lot. So, I mean, not a ton, but they're worth a lot more than uh, $3.99. So that, that was one heck of a deal for sure. And from Thursday, I got... Jack Carrot. This uh, two books that I got inside the store, so they're two bucks each, unstickered. Uh, the Dharma Bombs, very nice condition overall, and a Tolkien book, Smith of Wooten Major, with also a uh, Farmer Giles of Ham, great condition. I'm gonna try to go through these quick because it's a lot of a lot to go through, and I need to make time to do more organizing and such. So. The books that I got outside of the store, these were all $1 each. Got a bunch of Stephen King books. Carrie, pretty nice condition overall. And most of these aren't uh, any kind of rare editions or anything or worth a lot. It's just people like Stephen King, so the books sell pretty quick. Copy of Cujo. Bought a lot of Cujo lately, all different editions too. Now this is a first... Uh, paperback edition of uh, Christine right here. Not in the greatest condition, but still really cool. I won't, I won't check the printing or anything to see what which print it is, just so we can save a little time here. Stephen King's Dreamcatcher. It's this one I have not read, but I saw the movie a long time ago in the theater, too, when it came out. It was a pretty cool movie, I thought, so I look forward to reading that book someday. Another one I haven't read, Bag of Bones. Supposed to be pretty good. I think all of his books are, for the most part, pretty good. But there was a period of time in the 90s where his stuff kind of took a turn. I think it had something to do with an incident in his life where he almost died. So can't blame him there. But in the last uh, 10 years or so, he's come out with a lot of really good stuff from what I've heard. And Arthur C. Clarke's The Lost Worlds of 2001. You don't see this one all the time in comparison to a lot of his other books. So this was a really cool find. All these were a dollar, like I mentioned, and it looked behind The Lord of the Rings by Lynn Carter, who is a uh, fantasy author, very famous at fantasy author, very nice condition, so a supplemental Tolkien book, a beat up copy of Dune, but hey, it's for a buck, I'll take it, yeah, so that was a cool find, and a, cop a beat up copy of The Silmarillion. And like I was saying before, in other videos, the, the Tolkien books are very popular right now. Same with Game of Thrones, um, except the Game of Thrones, the typical books don't sell as much because they're easy to find, pretty much, uh, the, the junk copies that they made. What do we got here? Aesop's Fables. So yeah, I've been kind of getting a little bit more into finding a rare like children's books from the early 1900s, and if um, if I'm lucky, even before that, in the late 1800s, watched a video on this guy's collection of uh, really rare books, and it looked pretty intriguing. And I found, like, that uh, that Robin Hood book I found was supposed to be pretty, actually turned out to be worth a decent amount, you know, in comparison to what I paid for it. And a lot of what makes these good or not sometimes is also who does the uh, the art for the illustrations and such and this was kind of cool since it came with the, uh, the slip cover right there it's illustrated on the uh, 
on the front and back there too so that's cool this seemed kind of interesting right okay so now we're getting into the stuff that i fill bags with so all this stuff is really cheap um the cartoons from punch so this is really old i look somebody's uh note in there from a long time ago probably yeah so this looked kind of interesting i'll look it up sometime and, and see what it's all about and um you know especially pertaining to if it's worth much or not but it's fun to learn about you know different illustrators different writers you know that's what you take risks or gambles on certain things like if i was teeter-tottering should i get this or not if i do decide to get it then i'll get a chance to look it up and find out you know more about it for next time and as a seller that's always a good thing so let's see we got the great books on reading and discussion program okay so i might have another uh, number two or whatever in, in this i'm not sure why i got these exactly maybe because they're part of a, a set or something so let's move on we got the oxford book of short stories pretty big book that's pretty cool i'm gonna try to go through quick here animal dreams i come across this book quite a lot this fits in when you're making a set of similar books you know so if you um, books that have pertained to animals or spirituality and such you know easy to make a, a group of a, a listing with a group of books that are of similar subject or manner last temptation of christ really cool edition of this nice big one big paperback right here decent condition Greek Tragedies, Volume 1. Good find. Another good find, a George Carlin hardcover book called Brain Droppings. Don't come across this one quite as much, so that was a cool, cool find there. Italy at the time of Medici. Oh, life in Italy at the time of Medici, excuse me. Heavily illustrated. Pretty cool. Herb. Success stories. Actual case histories. Interesting. You could pause and, and read the, and read those if you'd like. Alright. What's the guy here? Vitamin and Herb Almanac. Arthritis, a natural approach, a holistic path, a whole holistic path, pathway to health. Sister Carrie, it's really cool cover art right there. I'll come across these editions. Reinhardt editions quite a bit. Ray Bradbury for Fahrenheit 451. I was thinking about this book the other day, or this story. I think it's because I was uh, listening to an uh, audiobook of Brave New World to go to sleep to. I was thinking about, you know, this, this that story as well. Let's see, a, a Spy in the House of Love. I've, I've had a few books actually by this person that I need to put this with. The Trap by Tabitha King. This is the uh, wife of Stephen King. I think that's why I got this. Um, there she is, I guess. So we'll find out a little bit more about that. I'm not sure how good of a writer she is, but I'm sure she's, she's all right. You know? And just having the uh, king name attached to her makes it more likely that somebody will show interest in her and her writing. That's for sure. A Book of Short Stories 2. Really cool cover with all the timepieces there, I think. Scientific Approach to Distance Running. Nice. Okay. Great books. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, this 
these will go with those books that we saw earlier. And here's that number two that we were looking for. We had one and three. Oh look, there's there's number three again. Maybe these are different because there's another number two and there's another number one. All right, and we got Robert the Bruce. A couple different books here. The Path of the Hero King and The Price of the King's Peace. Interesting. That should make a good listing right there. And same with these Orth Orson Scott card books. Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. I'm not sure about these. I mean, I'm not familiar with the stories or anything. I do like Orson Scott card a lot. Uh, but two really nice looking hardcovers. I like the gold spine too. That's pretty cool. A little bit flawed on the as far as condition on that side, but otherwise they look in pretty good shape overall. Something called Parabola Truth and Illusion. Looks like a magazine from the winter of 2003. Kind of an expensive magazine, considering it was $7.50 back then. But it comes out every quarter, apparently. So usually quarterly issues of magazines or whatever, if they only come out four times a year, will cost a little bit more. I'm not sure what this is all about. Maybe it has something to do with um, horoscope or um, astrology or something. Let's see. Oh, wait. Here's another... Robert the Bruce, The Steps to the Empty Throne. Okay, cool. So, I got three. Three books to put together and sell together. So, that's nice. Juicing for Life. I think I've come across this a few times, but always worth picking up on a bag day. People are very interested in buying health and nutrition books, especially on those kind of subjects. Antichrist and the Final Solution. Sounds interesting. I'm not sure if the, I guess this is not a novel. I think I was kind of thinking it was a novel, but oh well. It's probably, you know, someone will be interested in that and some other like books. Ordeal by Hunger. I have a bunch of copies of this book. I seem to come by this book quite often. It's about the Donner Party, written by a great author, George R. Stewart. If you're looking for a good author to read, check out anything he wrote. Uh, let's see. Okay, now we're getting to the paperbacks. This should go pretty quick here. Agatha Christie, There is a Tide. We got another Zobra the Greek by the guy who wrote that one book that we had, The uh, Last Temptation of Christ. Rosemary's Baby. The novelizations of some. Well, this was probably actually a novel before it was a. Uh, before it was a, a movie. But people are always interested in the, uh, the popular movies, the novelizations of them. Moving Targets and Other Tales of Valdemar. A Mercedes Lackey, very popular, um, or somewhat popular fantasy writer. Cheaper by the Dozen. You probably recognize that name. I think Steve Martin did some take on it in the uh, back in 20 years ago or so in a movie. Herman Melville Typey. This is a nice uh, Penguin edition. Agatha Christie again, Spider's Web. Four great plays, or four great Elizabeth, Elizabethan plays, excuse me. Dr. Faustus, The Duchess of Malfi, The Shoemaker's Holiday, and both of them. Terry Goodkind, Wizard's First Rule. I think this is the uh, very first book in the series. There's a lot of books in the series, and they're all really big like this, too. The series was made into a... Uh, a TV show which came on I think during like Sunday afternoons so it was one of those kind of TV shows but it was okay it was pretty good I can't think of the, the name of it at the moment though I'll, I'll think of it later hopefully Agatha Christie partners in crime another Agatha Christie towards zero another Agatha Christie the man in the brown suit and then we got best Australian short stories 
this is a pretty cool find right here. Yeah, nice, nice cover art too. Nice condition. And we got a whole bunch. I'll just show these really quick. I'm always embarrassed to show these, uh, the L. Ron Hubbard series, but I only get them if there's, you know, like a full series. So we got books one, two, four, five, six, seven. You can almost make a full li a full um, listing with all those for the whole series or so. Easy to sell. Well, not so easy to sell because people aren't really that into L. Ron Hubbard. Some people are, though. So there you go. Margaret Atwood, The Handmaid's Tale. It's a popular show at the moment. Pretty sure this is related to that. Not 100% sure, though. Agatha Christie. It's a Poirot story. Poirot's last case called Curtain. Another Poirot. Hercule Poirot mystery. Death in the Air. Take that little sticker off there. Oops. I'll take that off later. Looks like I'm going to ruin the cover. The Gulag Archipelago. Raw Vegetable Juices. Alice Peters. A Morbid Taste for Bones. Now I come across her. That was got pretty cool uh, cover art, too. Nice condition. Put this with some other Alice Peters books, which I already have, ready to go. Aldous Huxley, speaking of Brave New World, Island. Now this one's not in too good a condition because it looks like somebody had to tape the cover back on there. They use some cool tape though. Makes it look interesting. Immortal Poems. I've got a bunch of different names there. Thieves World. Now we're going to see a lot of these. This is book number eight. I got a bunch already. And the ones I got, the other ones I got will make for, make it complete the sets of them. And as you can see, book number eight, there's a lot of them. Got Walden by Thoreau there. Looks like somebody was writing on there. We got Kozinski uh, being there. The Side of Paradise, F. Scott Fitzgerald. And another one with a sticker that I'll have to take off there. Another Gulag book. All right, we're almost we're getting there. Winston Churchill, The Valiant Years. Let me get these uh, L. Ron Hubbard books out of here. So we got numbers eight and nine right there. Taming of the Shrew. 14 stories, but Pearl S. Buck. Snowbound Amish Survival. Oh, these are always cool. Cool, these knowledge through color, educational books, Birds of Prey. Yeah, really good quality vintage books there. The Sea Wolf by Jack London. In nice condition. You got the Wagon West series, and somebody was interested in some of these. Uh, they they all go by a different state's name with the exclamation point at the end. This one's Nevada. Not just Nevada, it's Nevada. <laughs> Dana Fuller Ross. I had somebody who was looking, a, a buyer who was looking for one called Wyoming. I couldn't find it for them. They were nice enough to buy a s set of them anyways. I guess they found what, the, the one they were looking for. But that was really cool of them to, to buy it just because I, they, I think they thought that I went to the trouble. Well, I did go to the trouble of looking at them. It was no trouble, really, but um, I kept an eye out last week when I got all these books for that particular one they wanted and couldn't find it, though. But I did find some other ones. Stress Pattern, a sci-fi book. I'm not, I haven't heard of this author, but it is a, a Da Yellow Spine, so those are always worth getting regardless of who it is or anything. People are looking to complete their sets of Da Yellow Spine editions. Isaac Asimov, The Norby Chronicles. So this is a really cool find on Bag Day. Another book on French. 
the French language. See it, say it French. Easy, easy learning. <laughs> Novelization of Spaceballs. Yeah, people love the novelizations of movies. It's interesting. The Origin and Development of Psychoanalysis. Thomas Wolfe Short Stories. Anything that says short stories, I usually get. Because it's easy to put with other books that are, have a collection of st short stories together. Carlos Castaneda, The Teachings of Don Juan. Always get those. The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. Pretty nice condition overall. The Art of Loving. I find this book quite a bit. Book on philo um, or world famous psychoanalysis. Daring Prescription for Love. Book on the Doors and Jim Morrison. Jules Verne. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Mark Twain. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Steinbeck's Travels with Charlie. Zola, Germinal. Penguin Classic, really cool. Nice condition. Erotic Anthology. My goodness. Oh, look, you got you even got H.G. Wells on there. Sen uh, sensuality and its side effects probed in pungent short stories by some of the world's greatest writers. Interesting. Somebody will take a interest in that for sure. And a book, a, a novelization of the video game Halo. There's a whole series of these. And the video game novelizations are uh, always really popular. Here's another one of those golden nature guide books. This one's on birds. Really cool. Vintage books. I always pick those up when I see those. And speaking of uh, uh, similar books on eroticism, we got a book called The G-Spot and other recent discoveries about human sexuality. Someone would be very interested in that. Who needs it? <laughs> Child's Play 2 novelization. <laughs> I'm not sure who'd want to read that, but people, fans uh, of horror movies that will collect those kind of books and such. Uh, like I said, their um, movie novelizations are some for some reason very popular. Gets me. I don't know if people read them actually or not, or they just collect them, but they buy them. The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner. In nice condition. Kent State by James Michener. I actually have never, I don't know if I've ever come across this book before. What happened and why? The List of Seven. I've, I've come across this book a few times before, but it fits in well with other random horror novels. Looks cool. The evil looking guy on the cover there. Very nice condition though. Another Penguin classic, the rest, or a stain trilogy, however you, say, however you pronounce that. And it looks like I got a few books by the same author right here. Lauren Haney, Place of Darkness, hey, A Mystery of Ancient Egypt, so that sounds kind of cool. The same with this one. A Face Turned Backwards, A Cruel Deceit. And a curse of silence. So there you go. There's a listing right there. Easy, easy pickings. Oh, and Gertrude Stein's Three Lives. Let's get another stack right here going. Got some. Uh... Now, for those of you who don't know, The Green Mile by Stephen King originally came in a six part serial of these short books. Or, I mean, these short. Yeah, these short. Um, um, editions so you got parts we got here parts one two three four and five i have a bunch i have a actually a ton of these just in general you tend to find those a lot on bag sale days and gods from outer space not in very good condition that's okay people are always interested in these kind of books wc fields and me one flew over the cuckoo's nest. It's a pretty good find for bag day. Pretty nice condition overall, too. Ken Kesey. I found a lot of books on birds, so we're gonna see a bunch of others. A field guides, a field guide of western birds. 
So let me put these somewhere else in this, this nice big book to put on the bottom there. Hawks. So let's flip through real quick. See what we got. Yeah. Really cool book there. Pretty big too. This one on the Hawks. A lot of pictures in there too. I think all these books on birds are going to have a lot of pictures in, in them. Elmer Gantry, or yeah, J Gantry by Sinclair Lewis. I've never seen this book before. Looks interesting. Nice condition though. Mercedes Lackey again. Changing the world. Oh, excuse me. This is edited by Mercedes Lackey. All new tales of Valdemar. Okay, so other people writing probably some series that she came up with, I'm guessing. Maggie, A Girl of the Streets by Stephen Crane. We got a book on haikus here. Oh, an introduction to haiku, an anthology of poems and poets from Bosho to Shiki. Pretty cool. William Faulkner's Sartoris. Another Agatha Christie book. Moreau loses a client. A lot of different editions with Agatha Christie because she's so popular. Here's, Enoch, here's Erica Fromm again. The Anatomy of Human Destructiveness. Now this is one I don't see as, as often compared to that other one we saw earlier. Okay, so here's that uh, same exact book right here. We've got two copies of it. This one's in much nicer condition. Golden Nature Guides, always really good finds. Pocket book, a, a pocket guide to birds. Let's see, which one is this one? A Washington Square Press book. 50 cents, it's still pretty old. Not color, except for maybe these pictures in the middle. But pretty cool overall. So yeah, a lot of bird books, like I mentioned. Uh, here's another one. Have an unusual shape, a little tall book. Probably fits in a pocket pretty well, though. Or the back pocket, you know, pants. And that same exact book, I think, right? Yep. But this one's a, a mini hardcover. Golden Nature Guide. As You Like It, Shakespeare's. Uh, yeah, interesting edition. Edited with edited with notes and with notes by somebody. Okay, that's cool. The Secret Life of Plants. This is a good find for bag day. Nice condition overall. A book called Coward. Four plays. Wives of Windsor. Yeah, that should be interesting. Oh, it's another Shakespeare. Acupuncture. The ancient Chinese art of healing and how it works scientifically. Have any of you guys got acupu used acupuncture before? I, I did. I've done acupuncture a long time ago. I had some uh, particular issues. I think it was with my, my wrist or something. I sprained my wrist so bad one time and nothing seemed to, to work. But acupuncture really seemed to help. Lou Wallace, Ben-Hur. Yeah, I don't see this too often. So that's a good find. Culture of Narcissism. American Life in an Age of Diminishing Expectations. Should be interesting read for someone. Oh, we got here some more bird books. Oh, do we already have that one? Yeah, looks like we got the same exact book right there. So that's cool. Sometimes you find doubles of books. If they're worth getting, get them both. Three plays about crime and criminals. Oh, let's see, airborne animals. Oh, that's cool. How they fly. Certain spiders and, and certain reptiles, I guess. Or amphibians. Nice colored pictures there. Should be interesting. Bird watching. Oops. colored pictures in there. A sacred pipe. What do we got here? Black Elk's account of the seven rites of all this so recorded in it. Okay, cool. Now I 
we've got more uh, Thieves World. This is book 10. Edited by Robert Asprin. Very popular name in fantasy. Speaking of Robert Asprin. Asprin so this is a... Uh, which one is this? Huh. Book number five in... Yeah, Thieves World. Okay. And speaking of which, here's some more. I think I had some more of these. Maybe I'm missing a few or something. But here's book number four. Storm Season. Bermuda Triangle and Other Mysteries of Nature. The Last Picture Show. Penguin Edition. I'm not familiar with this, but anything penguin or pelican I usually pick up. Sometimes on bag day I'm trying to fill up the bag at the uh, sometimes at certain points at the end of the day or where I take chances on certain things. They look here. This one's not in too good a condition. See the painted bird. We saw this author earlier. Got a sticker right there that's probably not going to come off too well either. Some more Shakespeare. Much Ado About Nothing. Pretty nice condition overall though. Oh yeah, I got so... I guess these are no, no different editions here. They look kind of the same with the white covers, though. The Tempest. Let's see, we got Pocket Kangaroo on there. The Taming of the Shrew. Silence of the Lambs. Thomas Harris. Romeo and Juliet. Not very good condition. I think I got that. Because, as you can see, they are of the same, same edition. General Reader Shakespeare, Fol Folger Library. This one, Persilis, or Pericles, excuse me. I'm not too familiar with Shakespeare, as, as other people might be. Secret Agent, Joseph Conrad. I don't come across this particular novel very much, or this book by Conrad. Dictionary of American Bird Names, Revised Edition. More birds. There's a big bird day. No pictures in this one. Well, not too many, at least. And what do we got here? Just a few more here. Almost done. The Age of Reason. Yeah, tomorrow's... I'm probably not going to get to tomorrow's haul very quickly again. I'm like, well, I've created room. And that's why this took so long. So maybe I will. Maybe it'll be definitely quicker than this last one. Not that too many of you watch these or care, but let's see. John Steinbeck, Pasture of Heaven. It's kind of fun to show what I spend a lot of my time doing. I, I'm, I'm basically drowning in books at my place, so I had to make more room. This was a good find. William Golding, Pincher Martin. Usually you just find Lord of the Flies when it comes to Golding. So anything else you find by him is always uh, worth getting. Japanese etiquette. Copy of Animal Farm. Not in very good condition. But regardless, very good find for bag day especially. I think somebody wrote on it there. There's Orwell. Yeah, somebody wrote on it there. Falling apart a little bit. But hey, always worth picking up. Anything by Orwell is worth picking up for sure. And reading. If you haven't read Orwell, you're missing out a lot. So. The Reader's Companion to World Literature. And that will do it. We are done. And of course, I was really happy to get this nice big... Look how fat that is, too. For $3.99. What a heck of a deal. Volume 5 of ElfQuest. If you're not familiar with ElfQuest and you like comic books and you're looking for something that you've never read before, definitely check out check out ElfQuest for sure. So anyways, till next time. Be sooner than later.